Today we are going to look at research that has been around since 1980 and is often referenced on the net in regard to relieving dental pain, but it is very difficult to find any videos showing exactly what the researchers did in order to reduce this dental pain down by 50% in a majority of patients. Keep in mind, this is just something temporary until you can get proper medical or dental help, I should say. This is what the researchers did. They took wet gauze. In the wet gauze, they put an ice cube, or ice, so to say. They took the ice in the wet gauze, applied it to this area between the index finger and the thumb, known as a hoku acupressure point. They gently massaged this area, or I should say the hand, in which the dental pain was arising. So, if you had dental pain on the left side, you massage the hoku point on the left hand, vice versa. Dental pain on the right side, you massage the point on the right hand. They did this until the area, or I should say, I take that back, until the pain began to numb and or seven minutes had passed. Again, they did it on the side the dental pain was occurring on, and it was a gentle massage. Those of you that specialize in acupressure or acupuncture, please feel free to chime in if there's anything you'd like to add to this. The research we looked at, or the research itself, was called Relief of Dental Pain by Ice Massage of the Hand, printed in the Canadian Medical Association Journal in 1980 in January 26. As you see is the chart. Patients suffering from acute dental pain, this is a quote from the study, were treated with ice massage of the web between the thumb and the index finger of the hand on the same side as the painful region. The researcher referred to it as the hoku point. Control groups received tactile massage alone or with explicit suggestion that the massage was intended to alleviate the pain. So they wanted to do some sham treatments just to make sure that it was the ice massage that was actually working or not. Believe it or not, suggestions to relieve the pain actually increased the pain in a lot of individuals. But to proceed, ice massage, according to the researchers, decreased the intensity of the dental pain by 50% or more in the majority of patients. The hypothesis, as shown here in more detail, is that the cold signals may in some way override the pain signal to the spine. To conclude, furthermore, the fact that ice massage has analgesic effects similar to those of transcutaneous electrical stimulation, that's how effective it was, and acupuncture in relation to dental pain suggests that it may be as effective, trans, may be as effective as transcutaneous electrical stimulation for some forms of chronic pain, such as low back pain or neuralgias. So it's not just dental pain they're talking about helping reduce the intensity of the pain down, but other forms of pain too. So I hope this helps and I'll leave the chart up and you'll also be able to find the chart on a few of our sites too, uh, clinicalnews.org in particular, so if you need to reference it later on. But it's very effective, or at least it's been shown to be very effective by the researchers, but they only use it until or I should say only use it to relieve the intensity of pain until you can find proper medical help. Again, this is Ralph Tarciano. I hope this sheds some light on this old study that's been circulating around circulating in the NEF for over three decades. And I'll catch you all once again next week. Thank you very much for listening. As always, I hope this helps tremendously. Thank you.